Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, folks of all ages, urban bass layers. We are back out here at Tanzanite Park Pond, Sacramento, California. And it looks like they came through and they really chopped and took down all the grass and weeds around here, which is pretty good. Um, this place usually is not like this, all greened out, but we're gonna see if we can catch some fish. Um, got on the little kick frog today. We'll see if this works. Pitch that guy. What is that? Bandito bug? Yeah. He's got on a Guggen Bandito bug. I'd pitch it anywhere up and around the sides and anywhere around like right here too. I've caught a lot. Look, look. Something just popped up right there. I think that was a turtle. He's gonna work the bottom. I'm gonna work the top. We're gonna see who gets bit first. Or bass layers is uh, try to catch some fish. Pretty thick, man. Yeah. Well, <laughs> on top water too. Yeah, it's a lot thicker than I thought it was. Hey, look, I'm playing frog too. My flying rat gone. Well, that's no fun. I thought this stuff was a little bit uh, thinner. Keep making casts here. Of course, these geese are right where the fuck I want to cast. I didn't see you guys. That's thick. I think I forgot to uh, put some jigs in my bag. Unconventional ways of catching fish. You gotta think outside of the box when you're fishing. Do things that other people won't do.
frog on right now. Fishing baitless or weightless? Uh oh. And I just hooked Devin's frog on there. You wrapped up in the tree now? <laughs> yeah. Yep. Looks like I hooked Devin a frog. Yeah. I got a bag. Got a little braided line. Oh, cool. <coughs> My snap was hooked. I'll take this off now. I'm gonna switch baits here. I'm gonna switch out to my uh, kick turn. You got one following? Yeah. Fuck yeah, I do. I got three of them. It's funny how just like standing up and looking around, or like you could you could be right next to fish all day long and not know it, and turn and walk off a different direction. You know what I mean? We've done it because we went out to the same spot two days in a row. The second day we went out there, and the first day this dude said he saw a seven pounder and he said he hooked it. So we went back and I was like, I think we need to go earlier and we need to slow down and we need to actually look. And we found it. <laughs> it took a while to find it, but we found it. The water's so low, there's nothing flowing into the back of Folsom Lake. So it's like crystal clear water right now. It's not all mudded out like normal. All right, I'm ready to catch a fish. The old kick turn. Let's see if the uh, fish want to play today. You're just waiting for it. You're waiting for one of them to come up and smack the fuck out of it like you say they do. When you get bit on that, you'll you'll definitely know. My first buzzbait fish was pretty big. I figured it's out of my realm. I've never thrown one before. Best thing you can do while you're fishing is make yourself uncomfortable. Do stuff that is uncomfortable. Cast funky, get in weird spots, just do weird stuff. It'll pay off. You'll you'll figure stuff out. All right, we're gonna go right, huh? I'm extra careful right here. Not to hook her in the tree. Just try to get it to clack back and forth on itself. Kind of in place if you can. Hey, but that soft plastic, huh? the soft plastic, like right in these shade spots. I caught most of my fish like that with the soft plastic. And if it's open water, you can throw a crankbait in there, but. It's so grassed out and wooded out this year. But yeah, like right in the shade shade. Like in the thickest, darkest spot of the shade.
you can probably hit it better right here. I just don't want to switch out. <laughs> Lazy. Should have brought two poles, but. One of my hand poured mighty bugs. Uh, these were a yum product. A yum discontinued them. I made my own mold. I do not sell these. I keep these for personal use only. They catch a lot, a lot of fish. You can run them on top, top water. And then you can let them sink down in there. I was doing good. Keep the flow going. That flow going. I'm seeing a whole bunch of fry garters right here. I'm just kind of working this over the top. So this grass with the fries at. Hoping somebody will come and grab this. In the summertime, you want to utilize these shade spots. It could just be a little tiny shade spot like this. There could be one, the one good fish could be right here. In that one pocket right here. the darkest spot with the thickest cheese on it you want to find those anomalies those spots where it's just a little bit different than there, anything else and there's a tree down there might not be anybody home but if there was that's probably where it'd be all right we're gonna move along Soft, lipless. That's different. Let's say I get down here along the shore, you'll find stuff. So pull down real quick, wrap up this line, stick this guy in my side of my bag here. Time to look around while you're fishing. You'll find all kinds of stuff, especially when the water draws down. The water draws down. Hmm? I was gonna walk the other way. I walked over here. Okay, now let's go that way.
loving the shade spots today. Man, it sucks. <clears throat> This changes every year too, so water clarity of the grass, the reeds, the weeds, every spot every year changes. Some top water. Got these little dudes coming up trying to eat top water. I'll take a little guy top water. I don't think I've caught. Oh yeah, I have. Got a couple top water fish. These little dudes are pretty active. Oh dude, just had another one. Wow. Okay. I don't know if those are bluegill or if those are little. Bass. They're just like coming up and nipping at it. I don't even know if you could see that guy so small. That's funny. Not doing that, not fishing. Definitely not doing that all the time, but it's gonna happen. Well, that was sweet. Just got a really cool top water bite, and I completely missed it. He was talking to me, and I wasn't paying attention. I got bit right here. What were you saying? <laughs> yeah, these things kill it. I gotta make more of them though. It was like a one or two pounder, but I mean, it's the crap out of me. There was a chaser chasing him too. Yeah, right there, bam. Yeah, there's fry all over the place. What is it? Bass fry? Baby bass? Uh, if I could do this out there, dude, we'd get hella bites. That's what I'm saying. We gotta float places like this. cool bass over here there's little baby ones in there yeah. but if you're what if you watch and they scatter yep. it's other baby bass that are like that big and they're eating these guys are you hooked up yeah started going out so that's why i was saying you got to go slow if they're in the cover you can go fast did you see him yeah he flipped on it real quick Dude, yeah. it's nuts i've been watching that <laughs> They're just little tiny guys, but. All right. So we're out here at Tanzanite Park Pond. And I got a whole bunch of these little tiny chasers chasing down the baits. Pretty funny. Battery's just about dead, unfortunately. Whoa. <laughs> Trying to get one. It's really fun when the big ones are doing this. So I caught the five. They were out there just chomping on everything. I seen them come out of the water and it made the cast. 
Made the cast right where he was and hooked, hooked into him like third cast. Anyways, these guys are, uh, you got these little fry about this big and they're eating the fry that are about that big. So you got like inch and a half, two inch long fry that are eating like these little tiny, tiny fry. So as John said a second ago, it's uh, survival of the fittest. These guys are like completely, let's see if I can get a little bit. I don't know. There's, there's some guys out there they are about the size of my pinky. And they're coming in and they're chomping on all the little dudes. Pretty crazy to see. I didn't know it like really worked like that, but I guess it does. All right. You got one piece of green moss on a rock. There he is. Oh, that's a little bluegill. Yep. And then uh, every once in a while you'll see the little bluegill and like the five inch bass come in and they'll eat them too. And I mean these fry are everywhere. Pretty crazy.